Hello there, this is Cheryl Lentz, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator. I did not comb my hair, I just noticed that. Um, talking on Tuesday, it was supposed to be at 2, but my aunt called. She's 88 and she takes precedence over anything I do. <laughs> if she calls, I'm talking to her. So, um, excuse me for being a little bit late. So, welcome, welcome. I'm so happy to be back. We had a fabulous time in New Orleans for the leadership conference. Um, while I'm laid up for my surgery, I have my next knee revision surgery on this Thursday, September 1st. So, while I'm laid up, I'm hoping to do some blogging and get some pictures in on my blog. Hello, Cindy. So, um, I'm hoping to do that. But today I thought I would feature um, something that some, some people have missed from my talking to people. We have a fabulous, fabulous deal in the back of the holiday book. It's called Celebrate Everything DSP. And if you have not looked at that, this, you, you need to. And also today is the last day for celebration. So with every $50, you can still pick a celebration item. Is it today? Today? Yeah, no, yeah, today, tomorrow. Tomorrow is the last day I saw it. This is the second to last day of celebration. So just to keep in mind, if there's something that you want, you wanna do it now. So um, I'm gonna turn the camera around. We're gonna, I'll show you where it is in the holiday book. And then I'm gonna go through the papers. So it is a lot of bang for your buck. It's beautiful, it's versatile, it's, it's colorful, it's totally fun. I like it. All right, I'm gonna turn this down. I'm gonna turn the camera around, so close your eyes if this bothers you. We're gonna take a little ride, a little ride downtown here. Okay, so here we go. And I will make this bigger. There we go, so. All right, ta-da, ta-da. Is that big enough? Yeah, woo, that was really big, oh my. I didn't even get my rings put on. I have a really super cool ring that the girls bought me with with the uh, Mariner's compass on it, and I'm I I'm just kind of behind. I'm trying to get everything done. So this is the holiday book, um, page eighty six and eighty seven, right up here. Does not do it justice. It's called Celebrate Everything. It's twelve by twelve paper. You, it's a $30 value for 18 if you're a hostess. So to be a hostess, it's $150, um, $150. So get some friends together or you get together, you would get celebration. Plus you can get this great hostess paper. There's 48 sheets. So I'm gonna show you the sheets for each of 12 double-sided designs. So cool, goes with a whole array of colors. Um, it's really a fun, fun thing. So let me show you the paper. Let me show you the paper. Ta-da. Okay, so it's a lot just to pull out and show you here. I'm gonna move that over. Okay, so first one, I, I'm gonna move this like this. So here's the first one, super cute. Here is the back side of that. I don't know if you're keeping this on here. Here is one, here we go. I like this one that kind of like waves. And then fireworks. I like that they have some black and white. So here's another one, here's black and white. Here's black and white with the trees for Christmas. You could color those in, you could leave them just like that. You could add in a splash of red and green. Here's a splash of green. Here's another. Cute, cute, bright print. Here's the back side. Now we're getting into the Halloween fall. Here's some stars. Here's the back side is a plaid. Love that. Okay, and then this blue, I just love. I like the plaids and the so here, here's this one. So pretty. Pacific Point and a pool party. So Pacific Point and Pool Party. And then the back side is a wood grain. But look, you could maybe put eyes on here and have this a howling ghost. I mean, there's some different things you could do with this. Uh, here is another one. So here's the Halloween paper. Again, you could leave the pumpkins like this. You could color in the pumpkins if you wanted to bring in another color. Lots of fun. Here is the back side of that is this beautiful stripe. 
And I like that it's not like a solid pattern. It's got like, like it's worn, you know, it's, it's kind of a cool, gives it texture, right? Here's this one, beautiful circles. I love that. I think there was a, I started a quilt like this once, um, uh, like the, I can't remember what it was called, but yeah, I didn't finish it yet. So I have to get back to quilting someday. Here's the back side of it. Here's this wonderful, I love this pattern. So these two, I have a card that's for a different project and it's using a retired set, but it uses these two and I'll show you that later. I was like loving on that. Um, here we go. So yay, New Year's Eve, 4th of July, fireworks, fun. Here's the back side is a nice bright red. Oh, dog's leaving. Okay, here we go. And then, ooh la la, this nice bright diagonal print with all these beautiful bold colors. Here is the back side, is this green. So you have a lot of nice combination prints, you know. And then we have this nice big bold stripe and the back side, polka dots. Ta-da! So let's see if I can, I don't think you have it all in the, now, now maybe you do. Isn't that phenomenal? It is so cool. It is such a great, and four, four of each, you know, so yeah, it's just a, it's cool, cool. 12 designs, four of each, double-sided, beautiful, great deal, great deal. Okay, so I think we'll start out with stamping and then I'll show you the samples I did with it. So for my a shout out to my Florida friends, I got this set, Sun Kissed. I decided I needed to get it. It has um, um, Happy Birthday, Sunshine, love, love You to the Beach and Back, wishing you a sun kissed nose, a sun kissed nose and sandy toes, and a um, sunny season's greeting. So perfect for the Florida people. And I like it's just kind of a soft. And I did something different that I normally don't do with it. So I'll show you. This is the card that I did. So I'm using that paper that looked like waves to me. So that's what started it all out. And then I stamped this version. And I generally don't um, stamp the design on regular cardstock. But I don't know. I just thought I needed to. And then I use my blends to color it in. So it's just kind of a soft, soft look. I added a little strip of the DSP inside for a happy birthday card. And then I used um, on here the fine sparkle gems. I love the fine sparkle gems. They kind of match. Now, the other thing I was thinking I could have used were the glass, the sea glass shapes. So maybe on the one I do um, now, I'll, I'll do that and just try out different. So this is what I did. I wanted more of this to show. This is kind of a bigger print and I could have cut it a little bit tighter, but I thought it kind of balanced out and was even. So I just did a little tiny eighth inch um, border around it to make it pop out. And same thing with the verse. So let's see if I can stamp that straight again. Knock on wood. Okay, so that's what we're gonna play with. Here's all my things cut and ready to go. Ta-da. All right, so I will start out with my um, palm trees and the beach and the sand and all that good stuff. So I stamped it in memento. So when I have a bigger stamp, you know, I always, I leave the stamp down and I pick up the ink pad instead of opposite. There we go. Okay, and then I just tried to kind of center it on here. And um, what I was looking at was getting um, the water straight. <laughs> I didn't want to be too, so I can look at my grid paper and try to get that straight. So give it a good press. Give it a little bit more than I normally do. There we go. Ta-da, beautiful. Okay, let's go ahead and stamp our words as long as I have the ink out. So I have this nice little piece here and I am going to say, love you to the beach and back. Oopsie daisy, I'm always moving my papers around. 
maybe someday. So I learned lots and lots and lots there. Um, that we had a leadership conference with Stampin' Up. And so I'm hoping to um, get more pictures done. We were practicing on putting a watermark on our pictures. <coughs> Excuse me, and that kind of stuff. So, you know, I am technically um, challenged. <laughs> I don't, um, I'm just not really good with, you know, computer stuff and all that. I barely get this done. And I, yeah, it's kind of sad. <laughs> but I'm going to work on it. That That's my goal is to work on it and start um, blogging and maybe sending out some emails and different things like that. That I, I tend to do the things I like to do, like be here right now. This is what I like. I love to design. That's my whole, that, that is what I love. I love to just sit here and design in my little corner. So, um, you know, I don't know. Ta-da. There we go. Okay. So the thing is, I, I know they had lots of people swapping and doing all that kind of stuff. And you get to see all kinds of beautiful cards and what people are doing. But you know what? I'm kind of weird and that I don't. I think my glue is almost gone. Um, I don't usually swap because I don't use them in my class. The joy I have with Stampin' Up! is designing cards and playing with everything. So I, I don't use things that other people have designed. I kind of do my own thing. <laughs> I don't know if that's good or bad. but that's And, and there's beautiful cards and lots of inspiration. Um, but I, I, this is where I find my joy is when I sit in my little corner and I just play. So um, while I saw lots of beautiful cards, I did not do any swapping, um, but met some people, fun people. Met uh, Janice from Scotland and, and um, yeah, just, uh, just so many people. It's, it's, um, you know, Stampin' Up! is all over the world. Uh, I just think that's amazing for a business that was started by sisters, you know, just kind of looking, their kids were little, looking for something to do, and um, they really started something very special. So there we go. Okay, now, I normally don't do this, and I don't color on cardstock, but I did it. Um, I started out with the uh, trees, so the trunks, and I'm using a um, light soft suede, and I'm just, I know it's dark, but I'm just kind of going up, going up the trunks here, and here it comes in a little bit more. Okay, very subtle, but when you see it back and forth, it does add a lot to do that. So my sandy area, I used a light crumb cake and I know there's some greenery up here but I just went over the whole thing with the crumb cake you know because you're you don't see the color because it's I'm coloring on um, I'm coloring on pool party so you're just seeing a different color you're not like a different depth right uh, shade I should say maybe it's just a, with a hint of color just a different shade with a hint of color. You can tell when I add the blue and when I add the green up here. So on the water, I'm using Dark Pool Party since the paper is Pool Party. So that you can see the blue a little bit more on. Just a really subtle, fast card this is. But I just thought, oh, it's kind of fun. We're gonna do something a little different here. And then for the leaves, for the palms, I used a light old olive. And I just sort of scribbled them in, you know, because they're kind of all over the place. And I, so I didn't worry about exactly how it went on because, you know, they have a jagged edge or not jagged, but you know what I mean? It's not a smooth leaf. There's a whole bunch of little leaves here. So I'm just kind of coloring in, adding a little bit of green to it. Kind of 
kind of a zigzag pattern. There we go. I'm going to go in there. Okay. Ta-da. So there we go. Very simple. Now I have my little tiny uh, border on here. So let's go ahead and glue that on with a little tiny eighth inch. It just made it enough to stand out and make it um, kind of distinctive, right? Because the, because the background is all the same colors. You know, I'm using everything in Pool Party. The DSP is in Pool Party. So my accent to make it um, look a little bit uh, pop out at you is the black with this one. So I'm covering up all these cool fireworks. Come on, come on, don't give out on me now, glue. Keep me going till the end here, hopefully. There we go, okay. There, I'm gonna go ahead and glue this inside because I put these pieces all together here. So, yeah, I was, wasn't sure what to, what to go into today and I was finishing up on some other projects and I thought, I didn't see this paper right away. And so I thought, oh my goodness, if I didn't see it, y'all didn't see it either. So let's play with it. Let's, let's get with it, create some different holiday cards with it and you will love it. Once you see it, you will love it. Let's see here, come on, uh-oh. Oh, there we go. I thought he was gonna give out on me. All right. So here is this on here. To me, this looked like waves. <laughs> so I went with the dark, the wavy, the wavy look. Okay, so let's get some. I popped up the center, my palm trees. I might, and I'm using all the ends of my um, dimensionals here. I, let's see here. Let's go this way. I, I love using up all these little edges, especially the corner pieces like that. I think that works out so nice. Okay, here's this one. And then I have to find some more. Here's another one. I didn't cut it up yet because I want to use, I'm going to bump up the verse also. So I'm just going to cut some of these. Okay, I guess I have some round ones on here. There we go. Whoops, let go. Let go my ego. Here we go. All right, we're going to put one in the center here. But I already pulled the paper off. There. Okay, let's put it on our card. I like to accent it with just a little dimension on here. I think it makes a big difference. I'm just throwing my backing off, peeling the paper off of there. And then when I hold it up here, I'm looking to get kind of an even border along the top and the sides here. So without hanging my head in the camera, hopefully I'm getting it okay. There. All righty. And this, just a soft, subtle look. And this one too, did I? Yeah, I think I got that kind of settled in there. So um, I keep my, all my little things pulled out here. And here's the other that I thought we could use. Let's see, I want the blue ones. Is the, these are called the sea glass shapes. So this was something that was, has been carried over. Um, I wouldn't, I don't think I, I don't know that I'll use the green, but, uh, we'll do that just for something different other than, uh, what I did on the last one where I used the fine sparkle gems that I dearly love, love those fine sparkle gems. I'm just going to put a couple here and there, I'll put some more over here. Maybe I'll do it different here. There. Maybe we'll put some up here. I could try some of the. Oops! Look at I put I 
pulled up a dot too. Oh boy. That goes in this other one. <laughs> that goes in the basic dots here. Thought I was wearing some special gem here. Oh my goodness sakes. Okay. Now we're going to have to put some on this side here. I'm going to put it up here. I don't know. Maybe I do need to put some along here. I was trying to do it one side, but I should have, if I was going to do that, I should have moved it over to one side or the other. There we go. We'll just do that. That looks good. Got some interest on it there. So, ta-da. Very, very simple, very plain, um, but I think it's subtle. I think it's, um, yeah, kind of serene. There we go. So, I, I was told that I talk too fast. I think that's a, you know, cultural thing, a Wisconsin thing, and that I should show one card at a time. So here's this card. There we go. Okay, so I played with this uh, paper more. The first card I did with it, I used um, this car uh, caroling mice. So this is also a um, hostess set. Hostess sets are so great, you guys, because you get a set about 40% off. So, and I just think it's adorable, very easy to color. Here's what I did. So I used that first paper that you saw and I just kind of colored in with the colors on there. So I used, um, I used, uh, let's see here, um, polished pink. I used real red. And so I used the light and dark, the combo of the blends. So polished pink, real red, uh, shaded spruce, the light and dark smoky slate, light and dark daffodil. And then I added some of the little snowflake stars from the, I think it's the Santa train set. So you can see, so that when you pick it up, it kind of, hello, Brenda, it kind of sparkles, gives you a little bit extra. And then I did, of course, Tidings of Comfort and Joy, which is from a different stamp set because there's no words with this one. But because they're singing, you know, Tidings of Comfort and Joy, I thought, oh, that's perfect. I like that. <laughs> and I put the little tree inside. So, ta-da. So that's my other paper using the um, design, what is it called? Design for everything. Celebrate everything. Duh. Celebrate everything. Okay. And then I did this one here. So I used the pumpkin paper. And the back side of that is this nice stripe. I love the stripes up and down. And then <coughs> the punch that comes with this bundle, bewitching bundle. Also has some little stars. So I did the stars and then I thought I added in some of the uh, matte dots um, for the, um, the parakeet party. So here is this one and the hat is bumped up. I love the little spiders, super cute. And then inside I used a, the words from Best Witches. So Best Witches. There you go. I just thought that was kind of cute. You need to pair this up with a word set. So that was my other one to show you. And all this paper, the DSP is from um, Celebrate Everything. And then I have another one that I did this for, um, for someone and it is not a current set. And I don't ever do that in classes, but this was a special thing that somebody needed. But here is that great party that has, or um, designer paper that has the Pacific Point and Pool Party. And I just love the combination. I love that this is a little print and this is kind of a bold print. So, so fun. So that's what I did for, um, for a different person. But I will put them all out now. So here's this one. Here is my shout out to my Florida friends. And here's some Christmas mice caroling. And then we have um, Halloween. There we go. Ta-da. So those were the cards I wanted to show you today. So much fun. I love that paper. Um, I won't be on on Friday. I'm going to try and... Um, I'm going to try and learn how to do some 
videos that I can then have released at a later date. So if I'm able to do that, I will, if I'm able to figure that out is what I'm saying, I will have some more using this DSP because I think it's so great. So there we go. I am going to turn the camera around. Ta -da, ta -da. Let's see here. There we go. Okay. So that's what I played with today. I got the three of the three cards done and um, some other things getting ready to um, get my get my act together for the hospital. Anyhow, thank you for joining me. Um, if you have are joining me here on Facebook or if you're joining me on YouTube, our numbers are climbing on YouTube tremendously. Please, please subscribe. Um, share it. Let, let your friends know if you're interested in what I'm doing. If there's something you want to see specifically, let me know. I do go through and read all the comments and I try to answer to everybody. So, um, I yeah, so that's what I'm doing. Thank you so much for joining me. I will try to get some videos out for you before. Um, tomorrow I will, I'll come on tomorrow yet. So I have one more day where I'll still be uh, this side up. <laughs> And um, I'll come on tomorrow and do some uh, some other things. So you cut the beginning and the end. Well, there you go. I know I love that paper. It's so cool and it's such a great deal, you guys. So remember, today and tomorrow, two two days left for celebration. Um, get a couple friends together. You could get a hostess, one hundred and fifty dollars worth of product, and then you could purchase this lovely, lovely paper. Thank you. Have a great night. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.